Yeah, we're all we're all pretty worried about our children and, and the health of our children. Outbreaks in schools like this one have been happening for weeks, and now the Calgary Board of Education has sent a letter to the province asking for help, saying they don't have any idea how many students actually have COVID-19. We are asking for the resumption of contact tracing for AHS to inform school divisions and families when there is a case of COVID in their class. And they want more isolation instructions, rapid testing kits and mandatory vaccinations for school employees in order to protect the 70,000 students in the board under the age of 12. The board says when some of these services were removed, it created a void of information, leaving parents confused. Right now, the board is depending on self-reported cases of COVID-19, of which there are 350. This parent says it's been difficult sending her two kids, both under 12, back to school. I mean, it's it's certainly quite con concerning, especially with the numbers surging so quickly and the fact that under 12s are unvaccinated. My children are both um, unvaccinated because of their age. The Ministry of Education sent us a statement Saturday that read, in part, the safety of students, parents, teachers, and staff remains our top priority. We will continue to follow the expert advice of the Chief Medical Officer of Health and will make changes as necessary to ensure a safe and successful school year. They also added that rapid testing programs are available for school boards. We know that last year when we had mandatory contact tracing as well as mandatory quarantine of close contacts, one of the concerns that we saw was that uh, it was very challenging to identify within a classroom which individuals were or were not within close contact with, with, with someone who was infectious. Dr. Dina Hinshaw on Thursday addressing whether contact tracing will be reintroduced in schools. She says without vaccines in the picture, the province took a more universal approach in the past, leading to whole classes being quarantined and the school year being disrupted and mental health issues, something she says they are trying to weigh out with the COVID response. We don't want to relive last year. It's something that AHS and the CBE agree on, but the CBE says many schools are approaching the 10% threshold of absenteeism and with no intervention from AHS, that in-person learning is exactly what's being threatened. And we're just not sure that we can continue doing that without some additional help and having some of those services come back. In Calgary, Kara Campbell, City News.